Greetings, YouTube, and welcome. It is I, the Narcissistic One, Pretty William, and this is Mighty Pirate Gaming. What we have in store for you today is a little treat, Shadowrun Returns. Now, for those of you who may or may not have recalled the uh, 80s games for the Sega Genesis and the SNES, this is a spiritual successor to it. It is less in the vein of the Xbox 360 Windows Vista game of the first-person shooter Shadowrun. Shadowrun Returns is an RPG. For those who don't know the lore, this is a post-apocalyptic world in which magic and technology are mingled. It's the modern world, but an event happened noted that is uh, widely known as the Awakening, and it spawned several metahumans. Elves, dwarves, trolls, and orcs. There are humans still remaining in the world. I think it was something like 5% um, of humanity was turned into these different races. So they are a minority and there is a great deal of prejudice in this world. The world being futuristic, we find the landscape controlled by corps. Giant mega corporations that will hire uh, Shadowrunners and other less savory individuals to do jobs for them. Shadowrunners uh, themselves are a mercenary class who will do just about any job out there. There are some that are the proverbial diamond in the rough who do have a moral code, but you don't tend to make the money you do if you abandon your morals to uh, in the favor of Nuyen, which is the currency of the game. So, without any further ado, and no more screwing around, let's jump right in and see what kind of trouble we can cause. Uh, launch campaign. Now, this game does have, if you recall the old City of Heroes uh, architect system, user-created content. If we wanted to, we could get on and make our own missions and allow other players of this game to download those missions and play through them. Uh, creating different stories and just adding to the content for the game. It's rather, it's almost like a, a large tabletop game community, which is what this game is based off of, a tabletop game similar to D&D. &D. Uh, we will jump in with normal and uh, confirm. I will be skipping all the customization screens and the loading screens just to avoid the the video dragging. We're, we're also going to try to keep our episodes relatively short so uh, I will see you when we have created our Shadowrunner. Welcome back YouTube. I have finally completed the uh, customization screens for the Shadowrunner we have created and we have gone with a human. We are aiming more towards the Decker and Charisma stats. We do have a little bit in our combat, mostly ranged, but I did put a few points into melee because when you run out of bullets, you gotta be able to swing those sticks. Okay, now we have our our name actually fit really well into the uh, street name handle or working name for our shadow runner, Pre William. So we have actually made ourselves in the game. So let's see just where we go from here. Now I will be leaving all these uh, loading screens up for just a few seconds. If you want to read the uh, dialogue and the loading screens, you can pause the video, but I will be flipping through them fairly quickly just so those who are easily bored or uh, would rather watch the actual gameplay than follow the story can skip through them. But if you are interested in the gameplay and the story as well, then uh, this will give you an opportunity to read and follow along. Okay, your apartment, 2054. It's 3 a.m. and you've got nowhere to go but down. Let's check out what we've got on our table. A slip of paper with your bank balance, enough to cover you through the end of the week. Um... What do we have here? All right, contact lists. Uh, Carter Detroit, fixer, no response to messages. Dowd, runner dead. Dead, missing since February, probably in a gutter somewhere. Dead, dead or retired. All right, let's, uh, the list goes on. We have no one to call. Uh, 
clearly. Empty, nothing to do. Okay, we'll put down the notebook. And, oh, what's this? Answer your vid phone. Your vid phone rings, jarring you. Who's calling at 3 a.m.? I have a feeling that if I answer the vid phone, that will continue the story. So let's uh, hit this. Your computer state of the art in 2050, broken since 2051. Okay. Well, that's useless. <clears throat> Sam Watts. The screen leaps to life, making you squint against its brightness. Okay. Uh, he's messed up. So, uh... You're zoned. Another giggle. You don't bother with your side of the conversation. I'm not really here. Oh, okay. Someone's killed him. Our friend Sam Watts. When you're an unsavory character like myself, you tend to associate with other unsavory characters who often partake in unsavory business, like you, for example. So, why am I dead? Who knows? Probably my fault. Sam Watts. I wonder where you are right now. I bet you hit a big payday and you're living high on the hog somewhere. Some of us are born winners and some of us are... me. Okay, boring, boring, Dowd. Okay, apparently, we lost Dowd in one of our runs about a year ago, or three years ago. Three years ago, a makeshift bar on the Seattle docks that the night Dowd went down. Okay, we can talk with our uh, fellow teammates. Sangoma is an urban shaman who proved her worth during a run against Fuchi last fall. She's the quiet type and experienced runner. We're out in the open here, pretty William. Our fixer owes us for the run, and for Dowd, we wait. Your call. She does have a point. Um, I'm not liking how this is going so far. New Larry. You've been running with New Larry for about six months now. He's a combat match with a bad tattoo and a bad attitude. He knew Dowd almost as well as you did. Dowd never saw anybody die like that before, idiot. He shakes his head. I hate this fragging city, Pretty, pretty William. It's wet and the rain feels like acid and I want out of here. Uh, we wait for the money. Yeah, sure, of course. I'll wait all night if I have to. I don't know, Pretty William. Sam is a good guy and can hold his own in a fight, but he's been hitting the bottle pretty good lately. Never on a run so far, but he needs watching. He shakes his head. That run went sideways nine ways to Sunday. Now the fixer is late. The bastard better show, or we need we need the money. I want to get paid as much as you, buddy, but we need to lo live long enough to actually drink the new yen we earn. Cut the dreck, Sam. We both know why Dowd went down, and it wasn't the fixer or some other paranoid chip dream of yours. Sam smiles a toothy smile. I've been waiting for this all night. New Larry has something he wants to say, don't you, Larry? Go ahead, spill it. You were sloppy. He laughs. Sloppy? You think I was sloppy? You've been twitchy all night, son. Look at your hands. They're shaking. That true, Sam? Did you miss a beat back there? No, pretty William, I didn't miss a beat. I was on my game the whole time. Remember, I was on point. New Larry was supposed to cover Dowd. Something dawns on him. He leans into New Larry, amused and dangerous. We were set up, and he knows it, don't you, Larry? What was that call you made before we hit Renraku? How come you couldn't geek that guy before he unloaded on Dowd? I've seen you fling a lightning bolt, son. He should have been burnt toast before his gun cleared the holster. New Larry checks his watch, licks his lips, looks over your shoulder at the darkness. He's looking for someone, and it's not the fixer. Okay, we can see where this is going. You chummers are damaged. I'm out. Hands where I can see him, asshole. He stops, and a smile slowly appears on his face. What, you gonna take my gun away, pretty William? You know I don't need one. We've got incoming! New Larry relaxes and throws you a dreck-eating grin. Looks like my new Renraku friends are finally here. They're gonna take the hard drive off your corpse, buddy. I'm going to kill this man. Uh, we should choose our friends more carefully, pretty William. Buy you a drink after this? You'll owe me several. <laughs> okay, well, uh, new Larry, he's going to be the first to die. Let's see. Uh, and he knows it, too. He's already running. Can't get away from me that easy. Oh, he's coming back. This is turn-based combat. The AI is stupid to waste a, a turn like that. Okay. Took two of my ability points away. I won't be able to move my character this time. Because uh, it takes one ability point for each action, I think. Uh, turn-based combat. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Uh, spend these actions on movement attacks or using spells and items. Once your team's turn is complete, the enemy team will move and attack. Close. Alright. Well, I guess I do have uh, ability points. 
You going down, Larry. You are so going down. He had that coming. Oh, yes, he did. Okay, it's almost a certainty to hit this guy. His, his, uh... 99%. 99% for her, too. Yes. Okay, uh, that's one of those morons out of the way. 99% to hit him, too. Ooh, she got nice range on her. All right. Oh, we got more incoming. So now we got three to deal with. All right. This is Renranku Security, Renranku Security. 46%, 46%. Of a chance to hit 13% of chance. Okay, well, let's um, bring him over here. And that should increase. Yep, we are almost certain to hit him, her now. Or him. I'm not sure. It looks. No, that's male. <laughs> okay, um, 74%. Let's. Uh, just shoot him from here. And that's one down. Good going. 92% to get him. Shoot him. What? What happened? Why didn't I take my turn? I'm not sure what happened there, but, uh, now we have uh, four that we're dealing with all at the same time. And, yeah, this is bad. They do have a shaman. Okay, what kind of uh, chance do we have to get him? 73, we'll let William take care of him. We want to get this shaman probably as fast as we possibly can. So we'll bring him out here. And that should increase what? Okay. What are her chances of getting this guy? Pretty good. We'll risk it. No. Alright, we'll bring her out here. These two can deal with these three. William can get that last guy. <coughs> Probably should have brought her out first before firing, though. Oh, he's stupid. We got two shamans, or is that a mage? Oh boy, this is not going well. No, that's the shaman. This is the. Uh... No, that is the shaman. Summoning a creature. 12 damage. Okay, 99% chance to get him. Let's finish him off. Good deal. Now, kill that inferno if you can. That's good. Is that a... That's a mage. And that's the shaman. Okay, we'll take out the shaman if we can. That idiot just keeps missing. And then we'll bring William around to uh, take care of the mage. Crit times two. But it did no damage. That's weird. Alright, we'll bring William out here with one of his ability points. Oh, shoot. He is... He is... Oh, he's so very close to dying. Yeah, we're going to have to uh, heal him up rather than attack. Okay. Now. Can we get that shaman with him? I think we can. Oh. 
can he heal her? No. Line of sight required, eh? Because they're hiding. Okay, let's bring him out here. He can probably draw some of the fire until she can get healed. Uh, not enough ammo. Oh, okay. Ah. So let's change to our. Okay. Now, does she have a heal? Nope. She does not. So we'll back her off. No. We'll try to kill this guy. Yep, we got him. Got him. Yes! We may get through this without losing anyone. That's gonna be awesome. Okay. We'll bring William over here. And pick up this med kit. I think it is. Yep basic med kit and let's see can he get this guy absolutely <clears throat> nice can she get him? Pretty good chance. Oh, yeah. And one more shot. Nice. Oh, shoot. Okay, she's going down. And don't take out William. Shoot. Oh, no ammo. Okay. Uh, let's switch to pistol. Got it. Alright. New Larry's Betrayal or our second brush with death in one night? Uh, part of the life, Sam. You know that. You were born for this gig, pretty William. Me, not so much. I think I'm going to hang it up, find a nice brothel somewhere, stay drunk until I croak. <laughs> that sounds like a life. Alright, what about you? Uh... Me? I do this. It's the only night life I know. Well, you're a dumbass, and I'll drink to you when you're dead. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? I'm not gonna outlast you. Guess you can drink to me. I run the shadows, man. Yeah. I'm gonna make it. Well, clearly, because he sent me a dead man switch message saying that he was dead. You stare at Sam's face on your cam link. Calm link. Shake off the memory. Focus. I had your back that night, didn't I? Now I'm asking myself, who would care if I die? Who would give a rat's ass? A uh, hundred thousand new yen. He turns to his left. And we have the lawyer telling me to call them when the job is done. And they will verify it. I'd say my schedule's pretty clear right now. Hope you just said yes. Well, I did. Uh, I've got a locator chip slotted in my head these days. If when my heart stops, I, it'll activate. That's how you'll find me. See you on the slab. All right. Well, Seattle can't be any worse than this. Let's head out there. Oh, excuse me. And I think that will do it for this episode of Mighty Pirate Gaming and Shadowrun Returns. We will see you in the next episode where we try to get down to just who killed Sam Watts, um, our old drinking buddy and a fellow runner. So, good luck in your own gaming adventures, and I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. <laughs>